Magic 999, the radio station plays the best of the 60s, 70s and more, and I've been joined in the studio now by Ruth Maddock. Good morning, Ruth. Good morning, Rob. The one and only. And, <laughs> and in fact, you are the third now member of Heidi High that I've interviewed in the last couple of months. Oh, right. So you've had Pollard, have you? I've had Sue Pollard, right. yes. And uh, guess on the other one. Uh, I would have thought um, Jeffrey Holland. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you win a magic 999 pen for that. <laughs> Thank so, you. So the reason you're here as well, because uh, you're actually treading the boards again. Yes, I am, yes. Um, and I've been treading the boards for the last four years in a production of Annie, the musical. <laughs> and uh, it, it's lovely. Uh, we're on a nationwide tour at the moment. Um, we've only got two more weeks left after this. So we've come to Preston. We started last Tuesday and we finish next Saturday. Um, and we do about seven performances in the week. So it's great. And who are you playing in Annie? Uh, of course, I'm playing Miss Hannigan. Mind you, Pollard's played Miss Hannigan. I sure. Yeah. That was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going back to quickly going back then to Heidi Hyde. Do you keep, keep in contact with the other members of the cast, or do you meet yes. up? Yes, yes, I do. Um, but you know, I I didn't go into the uh, spin-offs of Heidi Hyde yeah. and all that business because, um, quite frankly, um, Heidi Hyde came to me when I was forty, which is a very odd age for a woman, whatever you say. And I was eternally grateful um, because. You know, I was nearly 50 by the time I finished it. So what I did was I looked at everything and I said, no, I can't work with the same people again. Yeah. Because there were producers and directors coming up that only knew me as Gladys Pugh. Well, I'd had 20 years in the business before it. So I thought, right, got to get out of this. Um, you know, it, uh, much as I loved, you know, working with Pollard and all the rest of it. And it was a comfort zone. As well. Yeah, well, I imagine it would be uh, you yeah, know, quite so successful. Exactly, but I thought, no, I've got to go out into the good old sort of marketplace again, and I did. And unfortunately, I had a lot of experience in the theatre before Heidi High in films. I did the film of Fiddle on the Roof, did the film of Under Milk Wood, lots and lots of stuff I'd done. So people remembered me. So I was able to be gainfully employed after it. And that's what happened to me. Do you know, I, I've been doing this job now for about 25 years and the only pr ever production I've ever done was Fiddle on the Roof. I had to tell him to get out of the, the village. Oh, I can't did remember the character's you? name. Was well, you were nasty. I was a nasty the, man, the yes. Nasty, the nasty Russian that yes. came along. <laughs> well, I played Fuma Sarah. And that was in the film, in wasn't the it? In the film, yeah. yes. In so, 1970. And that was with uh, Topol. Topol, yes. If yes. I was a rich man. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so uh, now you're actually uh, in, on the BBC again in Little Britain, playing Daffy's <laughs> mother. Yes, I am. And that's been very interesting. <laughs> um, I had to run the script by my 40-year-old son before I took the contract because I was absolutely aghast. I'd never seen Little Britain, you see. Yeah. And uh, it came in the fax machine and my husband blanched and said, you can't say these words, Ruth. Um, and I said, no, I can't. <laughs> uh, and then my agent phoned and said, but they've written it for you. They've written it for you. And uh, I said, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll... I ran it by Rhys, my son, and I did. Uh, and, of course, he laughed, you see. Yeah. He rings me back after he gets the fax in the office. And I said, oh, don't show it to anybody, will you? Please don't show it, because he's ever so rude. He said, well, what is it? And he's, I said, it's Little Brittany. Well, of course, he said, you've never seen it, have you, Mum? I said, no. So uh, he rang me back and said, oh, go on, do it, Mum. You'll get street cred, if nothing else. So I did. And is there any more plans to play Daffy's Mum? Well, I, I think they've sort of feel that they've squeezed the orange dry on that can, particular yeah. thing because they're doing, you know, Little Britain and America, which really hasn't gone down that well. Right. So um, I don't think that they will be doing any more. And anyway, the BBC have decided what with the debacle of Ross and, uh, you Mr. know, Brand, and yeah. Brand. Um, and this, I have to say to your listeners, was more or less on the cards. It was just... The gasket blue. Yeah. Well, a lot of Quite people have actually said that. Uh, this is about Russell Brand. Yeah. Was just the gasket waiting to go blue. Off. Yeah. And, uh, and I think it had been simmering for quite some time. It's a bit like a pressure cooker. Waiting you to know, go off. You know, it was waiting to go off. Uh, and funny enough, in the new year, unfortunately, I can't tell you too much about it, which is a, 
a new top piece. secret, is it? <laughs> a new, but it is a, a project for the BBC I'm doing, and it is comedy, and there's no expletives in it. Absolutely none, and it's it's aimed for family entertainment on a Sunday evening, which was the slot that Heidi High had, and that's all I can tell you right. about it. But it will be announced apparently this month, because we're going to production in it in uh, January. So that's nice. I'll be getting back to what I know. Some good, wholesome entertainment, yes. family fun yeah. on the TV. And I'm delighted that the BBC have done this, because I think then you see th- things follow in its wake. Well, listen, it's been great talking to you. And you're in, uh, Annie, up until Saturday here in Preston. And then you continue on. Then presumably you're doing pantomime this year? I am. In, I'm in real. I was in uh, Blackpool last year. All right. Um, I'm just waiting for them to ask me in Preston to come along. Yeah. Um, but I'm in real next year, uh, this, this coming Christmas. And then I leave that and literally start the next day on this new, new production. production. So that's nice. But in the meantime, Annie is wonderful and it's at the charter this all this week and we have a matinee on saturday uh so please come along it's it's a great musical and of course it's totally family oriented and everybody knows what the story's about it's the rags to riches little orphan and the tunes are just splendid they are, amazing, they? They yeah. are they're beautiful and uh, first appeared on stage in 1976 when I was 13. I know. <laughs> I know. That was the first time. And, um, and you've been into London with it, it as well, haven't you? Yes, and we've you know, done all over the place, this thing. But um, it'll go back into London, I think, probably a year Christmas they want to take it back in. Right. So um, I might have to go in with that, okay. depending on my schedule now. Well, we need a question. We're going to give away a pair of tickets. That's very kind of you to give away these tickets. So we need a Thank question. You. A question, um, what, maybe from Heidi High? I think so. What were the names of the two dancers in Heidi High? Not their names in reality, but their character names in Heidi High. 01772 900 999. And the first one through with the correct answer will get themselves a pair of tickets to go and see uh, Annie, the musical, which is at the Charter 30 in Preston, up until Saturday. Uh, Ruth Maddock, it's been nice talking to you. Lovely to talk to you, Rob. And thank you for coming to Magic 999. Thank you.